Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three top three alternative applications to Midjourney. Now for the people who do not know, Midjourney is a popular AI image generator that allows users to create stunning digital artwork quickly and easily. However, there's many free alternatives available on the web which offer the same functionalities and offer way more features. And this is something that we're going to be providing you a showcase on today's video. Now, Midjourney is a paid application at the moment, so it's not always the best. So with that thought, before we actually get into the video, please subscribe, notif turn on the notification bell, like this video as it will definitely help the algorithm out and comment anything that you want to see in the future. But with that thought, let's get right into the video. So the first tool is Microsoft Bing. Now, Bing offers a new access to its image creator which is provided and powered by dolly e now microsoft has been partnered as well as providing the support for this basic application and basically you can prompt it certain things to provide it you with the image creation and basically for example i can say create me an image of a warrior cat okay i don't know i'm just making something up and I'm just going to click join and create. And as it continues, you're going to start getting a response from the prompt. And it's going to take a current a little bit while. But once it's done, I'll be right back. And just like that, we get an image creation. We get four different images out of that prompt. And we can notice that you get really good quality images, guys. And you can actually download this and share it as well as get a high quality image detailing what you're trying to create. And with this prompt, you're able to do so much. And I believe they even have their own guideline as to what you can do in terms of like the different prompts as well, which I'll show you in a bit. Now, in this case, these are your points and you get everyone gets 25 when you start off. And these points can be used to generate generate different images, which if you want to generate more images, you can click this button as well as if you want images to be created faster, you can click this button so that the actual application works faster to efficiently and effectively give you the best response. So now I'm going to be showing you guys a feedback as to some of the prompts that you can use to actually get you the best image application as well as that best output. Now what Microsoft has actually done is it has provided you different assisting questions as well as different prompts that will help actually help you generate the best response. And you can see that over here and they give you a detailed like application as to what you can do in terms of getting the best like image generation. And you can see in this picture, they say, how can I create better prompts? You can basically get a better prompt by tweaking the adjectives as well as some of the temperatures of the generation. And you can get better ideas of certain things by clicking on their Explorer idea page. And this is basically the first application as an alternative of Midjourney. Now we'll be moving on to the next one. On to the second alternative of Midjourney, it is PlaygroundAI.com. And now, guys, I believe this is probably one of the best options that you can use as it's completely free and there's unlimited use cases of it. So you can actually do a lot with this actual application rather than Microsoft Bing as you get to adjust as well as play around with the image dimensions, the guidelines of the prompts, as well as tweak with certain like parameters to get the best quality output of an image generation. So basically you have different outlines of people creating certain things in the community and you can even copy if you like an image, you can basically click on it and copy what they use as a prompt to actually help with your generation of the image that you want. And this is something cool that you should definitely check out, guys, as it's completely free. All these options are free and it's really great like alternatives as to what you're trying to do with image generation. Now, if you want to go play around with an image on their actual create a generation, you can import an image to edit. You can also take an image which will be used as an inspiration. You can exclude from an image to take out certain contents that you don't want, like such as color, an object, or a scenery, which they described. You can give it a prompt in what you want to create. You can try different types of filters to actually generate your image in. If it's like a wasteland, you can do that, warm box, and they have a lot of different options, guys. You can obviously even click no to generate something that is different. And you can even like replicate the dimensions of an image. 
have prompt guidelines, the higher the value it makes it in your image closer to your prompt. You can have different qualities as well as details. And this is a great way for you to actually get the best variations of your image. You have a uh, ability to create four different images off of one generation. So that's one of the great things that you can do. Obviously they have a paid plan, which can help you with more features. So this is something to definitely check out. And it's a great alternative to mid journey as you get a lot of like basic features that you wouldn't get with mid journey and you can tweak around with a lot of different things that will definitely help you out with your generation of AI images. On to the last option and that is diffusion art. Now this is another free alternative to mid journey and they state it as the first free mid journey alternative. In my opinion, this is a great option and something that you can definitely use. But in my opinion, I really find the playground AI to be the best option. Bing is also a great option. So you can get a better idea of how you can play around with certain things by actually playing with all three of them, guys. I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below. Once you if you want to generate certain things, you might get better generations with a certain application than uh, Bing for a for example so you just want to keep testing out certain things so that you can get the best output now obviously what you want to do is you don't even need to make an account you can just scroll down and you can input your prompt and it will start generating the image you can also play it around with the temperature as well as the scale as to how you want the generation to be you can it can have a portrait you can have a landscape a square and you can have different options that will actually help with the diffusion of your prompt generation you can even do things for like anime, manga, or game assets, which is quite unique. You can do certain things with like photos of like people and they have like a lot of options as to what you can do. So this is definitely a great option in which you can actually use. And I highly recommend that you check this out guys, cause it's very, very easy to use and anyone can use it it's completely free there's no restrictions so i find that all three of these options are great alternatives and maybe even better than mid journey so i hope you found this video very helpful guys if you want me to go more in depth and provide you more videos on certain things of ai generation in terms of images i can definitely do so so if you like this video please subscribe comment on anything that you want to see in the future like this video as it will definitely help the algorithm out and with that thought guys thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it and with that thought i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas